I have a secret. I know what Neil Peart's secret power is. Now, if you aren't familiar with Neil Peart, let's just say that he is simply one of the greatest and most influential drummers of the past four decades. Now that it appears that he is officially retiring, I think it's safe for me to reveal his greatest secret to his amazing playing. Now, before you turn away from this video, I just want to say right here that this is not a video by a drummer for other drummers. Please stay with me while I talk about drum stuff for a minute because I have a point that I'm getting to it requires just a little bit of drum talk. Now before I get to Neil's secret power, I have to give you a little background to how I discovered his secret. I started playing drums at the age of seven after seeing Buddy Rich on the Muppets and on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. I knew I wanted to learn how to play drums. In learning to do anything musical, we tend to look at others who excel in the field to seek influence. Watching Buddy Rich or Neil Peart play is like sitting in a classroom with an experienced and accomplished teacher. Their mastery of their instrument is incredible and very influential. So I watch and listen to Peart and I try to figure out not only how to play along with him on Rush songs, but also to capture a bit of his influence in my own playing. When playing along with Rush songs, there are those times that I get frustrated and I just want to quit. And I just start thinking, I'm not good enough, or this is too hard. <laughs> it's just too hard. Uh, now there's a statement of fallacy if I've ever heard one. If you look at any one situation where one human being is able to do something that another human being believes to be too hard, the second human being has to be wrong because the first human being has already proved it possible. But many of us allow ourselves to use the excuse, it's too hard. Buddy Rich once shared that he ran into a lot of people over the course of his drumming career who would say, watching you makes me want to quit, Buddy. And Buddy was quick to tell the person that he wanted people to be inspired by his playing and not discouraged by it. I recently drew some comfort from some of Neil Peart's own words when I heard him say that the classic Rush song, Tom Sawyer, is hard for him to play. Uh, no, wait, the professor said that playing Tom Sawyer was hard. The, the guy helped write the song, has been playing the song for like over 30 years, and it's hard for him to do it? And that's when it made sense to me. That's when I realized Neil's secret power is. He doesn't avoid the difficult, if the difficult is what is required. As a performance artist, many of us will usually perform within a comfort zone in public. We may push ourselves in private, but not when it comes to the performance because we don't want to mess up. This willingness to do what is hard for the sake of the music is what has made Mr. Pierre so great. Let's transition this idea to a life of faith. The truth is there are a lot of things about the Christian faith that aren't the easiest. And as a result, most of us just avoid them. Regular prayer, reading the Bible, reaching out in service to others, spiritual formation, maybe even just attending a weekly worship service might be hard, but it's part of what makes us better at following Christ. So on the drums, I have found that the only time I get better is when I push myself beyond my self-imposed limits. I find often, even when I'm playing alone, I will still work within my comfort zone. But when I push myself to try things I've never done before, I will certainly make mistakes. And let's face it, we often refuse to push hard in order to avoid making mistakes. But the truth is, those mistakes can serve as some of our best opportunities to learn. I was out for a drive with my son who had his temps at the time. He was still learning to drive. I would intentionally allow him to make mistakes from time to time to see if he was processing what he saw as he was driving. I allowed him to pick the wrong lane that he needed to be in to take on an on-ramp onto the highway. We had to go down the street and find a place to turn around so he could go back and get on the highway. And I said to him, some mistakes are okay as long as we don't hurt somebody in the process because we learn from them. And he reluctantly, of course, had to agree. Joshua 1.9 says this, Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. What does that say to you about an area of faith that you need to be strong and courageous? Maybe it's picking a Sunday to visit a church. Maybe it's sending someone an email to ask a faith question. Uh, maybe you've been a Christian for years and you want to take it to the next level. 
So what are some ways that you can push yourself in your faith? What are some ways that you can push your faith walk to the point that you actually make mistakes? What are some elements of faith that you have actually avoided because you thought you were going to have to extend a great effort to do so? Is a life of faith supposed to be easy and smooth sailing? And Jesus himself said that in order to follow him, we would have to turn from our selfish ways, take up our cross, and follow him. What does that look like to follow Jesus? What were the things that he did that calls to us to do? That's something to pray about, don't you think? Exploring the elements of faith can be a lifelong pursuit. Knowing what questions to ask can be the hard part. If you like what you saw here in this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube or like and follow on my Facebook page. My goal is to have a new video uploaded every week. More importantly, I'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts with me about what the video means to you, or if you have a faith question or video suggestion, send me a message about it. I'm not going to tell you that I have all the answers, but I seriously enjoy the exploration process, and especially with others. In addition to YouTube and Facebook, you can also find me on Twitter and Instagram, or my written blog on Tumblr by searching at Rev Chris Hall. Please feel free to share this video if you think someone else could benefit from it, and thanks for watching.